Am I recording? God, I'm out of focus. Yeah. There. Now I'm in focus. <laughs> God. And now for a little housekeeping. I've noticed upon looking back at some of my previous videos, I'm always going, hey, gang, or uh, hey, guys. It's kind of monotonous. So perhaps I should start this way. Hello, friends. Welcome to another video. No, that's not going to work. I don't know what to do. Uh, how should I start this video? Hello there, voiceover warriors. <laughs> hey, I hope uh, I hope you guys are doing okay. Uh, just had a uh, a long weekend, Memorial Day, and it's hotter than hell around here. It's gonna be about a hundred degrees today. It's not even the end of May, and it's triple digits in the San Francisco Bay Area. Great. Uh, anyway, today I wanted to tell you a little bit about um, using Audacity's uh, hotkey functions or key assignments to quicken up your workflow. Um, it, it's really helpful. Um, let me, let me give you an example. Um, I'm going to share my screen here. Hang on just a second. Okay. All right. Now, typically, um, you know, unless you're using hotkeys, what you do is you come over here, you select a bit of audio, you come up here to effect and you scroll down through the menu of different effects that you want to use, whether it's Amplify or whatever. EQ, uh, Equalization, D-Clicker, whatever. Okay, well, if you instead assign different keyboard keys to different things, you can do that here under Edit, go down the menu here to Preferences, hit that, and then uh, there's this menu here and you come down to keyboard. Now, um, oh, there's all different ways that you can um, search for the different keys or how to assign them. Typically I use uh, either name, I usually use name. And I only use a few, but still, that's just because I don't do a lot of processing with my audio. For instance, I use, uh, let's see here. Um, I use Q for repeat last effect. Let me see if I can find it. I'm sorry, I'm kind of goofing up this video. There, uh, Q, repeat last effect, which in my case was the high pass filter because I'm gonna show you something uh, regarding the high pass filter. I also use um, X as paste and I use the space bar for playing, play and stop. Now. You can, you can choose to put any effect into any keyboard key. And that just, it, by the stroke of one key, you add that effect to whatever section you want. You know, whether it's um, align tracks, um, change the tempo, clip boundaries, change the cursor position, equalize, export. You know, there's, uh, you, can, you can have all these different functions set to your keyboard keys. Super helpful. Makes things very easy. Now, what I've done here is I've, I've recorded a sample of audio. Uh, just stupid stuff. Just um, to zippity doo da zippity a. <laughs> just to illustrate what I'm doing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat this like I would, oh, something like, um, Oh, a section of audio with different pieces. Like for instance, I have that zippity doo da. Then I have a, uh, a, a click there that I made with my tongue in my mouth. Uh, and that indicates where one second of room tone should be. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to reduce the sound of all my breaths by 12 decibels. And I'm gonna do that using keyboard shortcuts. So anyway, I'm going to come down here to the end of my file, end of my recording, and I'm going to record some room tone right now. Okay, playing that back, it's a little hot. Now it's quiet here today, so I think it's just some low-end rumble uh, that is going on with my audio that's getting picked up. As you can see, you know, it's bouncing up here to almost minus 48, which is way too 
too hot for the uh, noise floor. So I'm going to uh, assign, well, I'm not going to assign this. I'm just going to use a low, uh, a high pass filter set at 70 Hertz to treat that. And now see it's under 60 dB. That's what I want. So I'm going to take one second of that room tone, copy it. Now I can just get rid of that because I've got it. And here I will highlight that space and I'm going to paste that second of room tone boink, using one key. And for me, for me, that is uh, the key X. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to highlight this section here, uh, <laughs> which is me making some weird noise. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to lower that by 12 dB. So I'm going to, I'm going to key in minus 12 into the amplification box. Okay. This is the amplify tool. So I'm going to hit OK. Now my amplify tool is set at minus 12 dB. So I can do that here too. There's a breath there. It's not that bad. You can't even see it in the waveform, but I'll go ahead and hit Q, which I have as my repeat last effect function. So I'll do that. I just did that. I hit Q and now now that breath is barely audible. That's fine. So here I've got the click, the mouth click that I made, and that's indicating to me to paste one second of room tone right in there. So here I go pressing the letter X and it's done. Now I can go back here and I can highlight this breath right here and I can hit Q again. That's repeat last effect for me. And it's still audible. That's fine. I just don't want it as loud. And I'll do the same right here with this click, audible click, which is telling me that deserves one second of room tone. I hit the X, that pastes right in there. Uh, I can see a little something right here. It's a breath. So I'm gonna, re I'm going to hit my repeat last effect button, which is Q, which is again, the amplify tool, which I have set at minus 12 dB. There, much less audible. Now I'll do the same thing here. See, the, the breath is still audible, but it's just not as loud. And I, at the beginning of this, I'm going to go ahead and paste in one second of room tone by hitting my X key. zippity doo da, zippity a. There. See, now, um, and I also used the, uh, the space bar to start zippity doo da, zippity a, and stop it. It's a good one. Now, the reason why, here, I'm going to stop sharing. The reason why I've selected the Q, the X, and the P keys for that particular um, demonstration is because it's all, I use the Q key, which was my repeat last effect tool, which in my case, for this demonstration, I was using for Amplify. So I was using that with my, well, this finger uh, right here, which is the middle finger. Uh, I was using uh, X, which I was using for paste with my index finger. And of course, um, the space bar, I was operating with my thumb to start and stop the audio. So as you can see, instead of you know going up to the, the effect menu and scrolling down to find the one that you want, you can just assign different keys to do different things for you so that you don't have to do all that maneuvering with your mouse. It's all very quick and simple. And that saves you a ton of time cumulatively uh, when you're doing things like editing. Well, that's exactly what you'd be doing is editing. So anyway, I hope you find this helpful. And, um, you know, editing is really important skill set. Um, it helps you get jobs done faster. And when you're busy, um, speed counts. So um, anyway, go forth and edit more conveniently. Uh, and um, yeah, go forth and edit your voiceover jobs. Do, 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 do. Call to action. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> Have a great day. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Bye.